chicken to reach the finish line. Courtney, here's the two minutes of mayhem. Okay, we've got some good stuff, and it's spanning all categories, okay? Okay. First off, a little science. We've got an unidentified fireball that was spotted blazing across the night sky in Oregon just last week. Check this out. Video shows the bright object move through the air for several seconds before going out of view. You see it right there? Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there top. Yeah. Witnesses of the fireball event logged more than 200 reports with the American Meteor Society with accounts spanning as far north as British Columbia down to southern Oregon. Director of Space Science Education at Oregon's uh, Museum of Science and Industry, Jim Todd, says it's hard to say if it was a spacecraft, debris, or not. And you know the only other possible explanation. Mm -hmm. Aliens! Our days are numbered, people. E.T. Phone Home. Mm -hmm. we'll uh, and that didn't take long. China's record breaking uh, glass bottom bridge, remember we were freaking out about this right. last week, has suddenly been shut down uh, after oh, just I two had a chance weeks. to go there. I know. Oh, remember, man. you said you were going to go. Oh, well. Uh, government officials closed it on Friday for a software update since uh. it opened. I know. <laughs> we'll explain just one second. <laughs> Since it opened, the bridge has received more than 10,000 visitors a day, but it's only meant to handle about 8,000 per day. The ah. software update is meant to better handle mm. the influx. So that's the problem. The software wasn't keeping track of how many people. It was supposed to, you know, let people cross. Ah. Letting too many people across. Can't have all those people on the glass. It's, mm. it's, it's not good science. It's okay, not good see? physics. I can't, I can't move right now. You see, see? now? See now? I can't see. go. I'm, you can't. Unable, I'm unable to move watching that. I can't move my legs. <laughs> So you're telling me you built this bridge, but now the software that right. makes sure the... Oh, see? No, see? I'm out. I know. I know. Isn't she's one of those counters? One, two, right. two Click. three. Right. Keep Just give a click. person click. a job. Yeah. Click. <laughs> click it. Analog, people. Analog still works. We'll let you know uh, when they open that bridge. Okay. Get the bell ready. Get the bell ready. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. People in Lithuania used hens to commemorate a battle that took place go. nearly 600 years ah. ago by egging on... Ah. Bring it. Uh, 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> from Lithuania oh, and Latvia oh. on a 100-foot racetrack. The hens were in an enclosed course so they wouldn't fly the coop. <laughs> the fastest hen scrambled through in 11 seconds while others were just too chicken to head to the finish line. Organizers say that people are now raising hens in order to compete in the annual competition wow. so they can feather their nests with an excellent trophy oh. and have something to crow about. Oh, This stuff. That's Tessa, I, told, I told her to this word. I'm like, that was inspired. That script right there. <laughs> now, see, I don't, I don't advocate that. Don't bang on the, on the thing. Right. Gosh. What the? Okay. All right. That's it. This PETA member is out. Like that that concludes your two minutes Done. of mayhem. Woo. There you go. Fabulous. Good stuff. Good stuff, Court. Mayhemy. Still to come on Good Day, a photographer.